And moving on now, informal workers in Nigeria constitute over 60 to 80 percent of non-agricultural employment in Nigeria and over 90 percent of new jobs are in the informal economy. Now also, the informal economy contributes 58 percent to Nigeria's GDP, yet these workers operate in makeshift unregulated environments with low capital and rudimentary technologies. These formed the views of stakeholders at a workshop organized by the Federation of Informal Workers Organization of Nigeria. Speaking with newsmen, the stakeholders narrated the ordeal. That the vast majority of Nigerians working daily, contributing their quota to national development, are actually in the informal sector. But unfortunately, uh, we discovered that there are basic rights uh, to social economy well-being uh, largely ignored. Uh, the basic right to old age care and pension, so uh, old, old age care and support system, which can which comes in form of pension for those who work in the former in the more formal sectors. Yeah, the, the reality is that uh, we have all been sidelined in this country, apart from a very few. Uh, people will say infinitesimal number of people, you know, in the country, the rich, the powerful, the high and mighty, the, the political class, uh, the rest of the citizens to a very large extent are marginalized. More so are uh, those that belong to the informal sector. Um, the, the reality is that uh, this is a sector made up of uh, the vast majority of the workforce of this country. Now, they agree that the social consequences of working in such environments are enormous while also calling on the government to do the needful, ranging from providing social security, infrastructure, basic amenities, among others. Call on the state government, the Lagos state government, to make deliberate attempt to create space for people to work in the informal sector. The government we are talking about should first of all be the government of the people. That what we say, the, the so-called democracy is talking about, that we have the government of the people, for the people, by the people. But it's not, it's, not, it's not true. We don't have the government of the people in place. Many, many places in Africa, we don't have the government of the people. We have the government of the rich men. We have the government of the capitalists. We have the government of the people who are controlling our nations. We have such governments. And so you, you want to believe, since the government has been a signatory all this while, to international conventions that ensure social protection for the vulnerable, for the weak in the society, that the government will be able to walk the talk to make sure that they put you know, basic social infrastructure on ground.